Hey besties, welcome back. I'm here to watch episode two of the Two Kids show. This is Hyunjin and I N. Uh, Selang Selang Untitled. So those are the two songs they're going to be doing with MC Lino. So uh, y'all know how I feel. I'm excited though because Hyun, I feel like Hyunjin and I N out of the two members are probably the two members that I probably know the least about, honestly. Um, and if you've been watching my Stray Kids journey on the music videos and stuff, like Hyunjin has been um, standing out to me a lot, like attacking me a lot, um, just like with his energy and the performance and. He always just stands out to me a lot, especially like in the music videos and dancing and stuff. So anyway, and I N is just, he's great. I'm going to be watching his uh, Lee Mugen service soon, like within the next day or two, I think. Because, um, yeah, I, originally I didn't realize he had an episode. I just saw Soongmin's and uh, Han's, but then I saw I N as well. So I definitely want to watch that. But uh, I will stop talking. Let's get into this episode. I wonder, I wonder how MC Lee know is, he's, he's got a lot of experience with that, so I'm sure he'll be amazing. But like, it's also his members, so he might just <laughs> tease them the whole time. Ooh. <laughs> he's so handsome, like, for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Dumpling and bread. They're also adorable. Oh, I like the pink shoes, sir. Do a handstand. <laughs> Wait, do they have... Sorry, let me make sure I got my paws working. Do they have experience doing handstands? Or was that just random? Oh. Hello. What's Sopaz? Is that like their unit name? <laughs> the Jongin and Hyunjin? Together they're called Sopaz? Is that what? Brotherly chemistry. Oh, yeah, they went to school together. He said, You're old. <laughs> 학교라는 걸 다녔었고요. 예, 국민학교 말고요. 김포 공부 아닌가? 김포. 김포 제일 공부입니다. 아, 제일 제일 좋아요? 예, 제일 붙여 주세요. 제일 공부. 예, 그렇습니다. 그렇습니다. Give it respect. 청춘을 함께 보내 그런 느낌이 어땠는지 뭐한 분씩 들어보죠. 아, 정말 이엔이랑 거의 매일 같이 등교를 했고. 맞아요. 와. 저 까마득하네요. 정담에 살았을 때는 이 지하철이 그냥 7호선 그냥 직방으로 그쵸. 가가지고 아 아주 편했는데 아 이사를 오고 나서 <웃음> 굉장히 많이 우리가 이사 갔던 기억이 아 이사 가고서도 아이언 씨는 등교를 했었나요? 그때는 우리 엄마가 차로 이렇게 학교 들여다주고 그랬지 그래서 오 가기 전에 하, 이렇게 뼈다구 해장고 맞아 근데 우리 둘이 거기서 잠들어가지고 <웃음> 밥 시켜놓고 <웃음> 어머니가 사진 찍어 놓으셨죠 해장국 집 앞에서 두분 잠드신 거예요? 해장국 집 안에서 어 안에서 밥 시켜놓고 그래서 엄마가 보면서 아유 우리 오늘 사진 찍어 <웃음> Listen, I fell asleep. I fell asleep inside a restaurant once, and they kicked me out. <laughs> it was in New York City at like four o'clock in the morning or something, and so yeah, she she kicked me out. She's like, "This isn't a damn hotel." <laughs> Rude. Okay. Yeah, 
그때가 추석 추석이었나 설날이었나 어쨌든 명절이었는데 그때 제 친구랑 맞아요. 이렇게 같이 가가지고 가서 꽃게 타 먹고 맞아 엄마가 이제 진수성찬으로 들게 맞아 와 진짜 너무 참, 맛있어가지고 참, <웃음> It's like tell me about the food <웃음> 그 전에 이제 PC 방을 먼저 갔었어 맞아 맞아 네, 총 게임 방 하다가 이제 집 가서 셋이서 같이 밥 먹고 음. 그랬던 아기 때였죠. 캬, 좋네요. <웃음> 어이 없어. 아 리노 씨, 맞아요. 아니다. 약간 야지 억텐인데. 근데 이제 quit being fake. 그룹에서는 막내지만 실제로는 동생이 있는 아이엔 씨와 그룹에서는 형이지만 실제로는 외동인 현진. 스테이들은 이두 사람을 의젓하고 강인한 아기 동생과 어. 강인 척폼 잡지만 허우적대고 clumsy big he's clumsy 이라고 그 이렇게 생각을 하고. 하는데 제가 그 정도로 하고요? 그 정도는 아니죠. I would never think he was clumsy. Okay, see I learned something new. I feel like he's super graceful and he's a great dancer. So. 어리버리한 형. 이라고 이렇게 생각을 하는데. 제가 그 정도로 하고요? 그 정도는 아니죠, 솔직히. 아이 뭐. 세들이 너무 했네. 이따 한 마디 하시고요. 예, 서로 이럴 때 이연이가 조금 더형 같다. 뭐 현진이가 동생 같다 느낀 적 있는지. 편하게. 일단 이연이의 생각이 궁금해요. 저는 이연이를 형이라고 생각해 본 적은 사실 많이 없긴 해요. 왜냐면 그 만약 너무 애기가 He's always been their baby, right? 근데 근데 이제 이엔이 이제 반론이 이제 <웃음> <웃음> 근데 그 이게 현진이 형뿐만이 아니라 사실 다른 아니요 그냥 현진이만 한정적으로 해서 하시죠 다른 애들 그렇게 죽이지 마시고요 <웃음> 저도 포함되어 있을 것 같으니까 <웃음> <웃음> 어제 동생이 없는 예. 형이잖아요 예. 그 초반에 약간 뚝딱뚝딱 되는 게 있긴 했는데 oh, he didn't know how to act. 동생이 잘 못해 해가지고 <웃음> 어, 뚝딱뚝딱 되는 게 있었는데 지금 뭐 어, 듬직한 아, 형이지 그냥 <laughs> he said, I see that you are uncomfortable. Let's explore this more. Look, Lino being a therapist, but also getting a tea. Oh my like, no, that's me. He said he may have looked cute and younger than me, but like I was the cuter one because like <laughs> Ian just I guess doesn't do that. He does maybe he doesn't embrace the eggio. <laughs> Oh <laughs> 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 또 두학년이었나? 두학년이겠죠. 두학년이었으니까 음. 2년 동안은 제가 혼자 다녔었거든요. 거의. 음. 근데 이제 그때는 제가 진짜 못 일어나가지고 음. 온수역에서 잠들어가지고 맞아. 그냥 그 역끝까지 갔. 그쪽도 있었고 생판 고르는 역끝까지? 네, 역끝까지. 야, 부평 구청까지. 네, 부평 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 구청까지. Wait, why was he so tired all the time? Was this was he a trainee at the time and so like not getting any sleep and always being sleepy but still having to go to a regular school? Because I know that, yeah, I know, I know that IN obviously was still in school when they were training and when they were on like the Mnet survival show and stuff. But, but Hyunjin also just said he was like two years older, I think. Or two grades above. <laughs> 막 이러고 등교한 적도 있고 아니면 온수역에서 자고 있는데 어쨌든 노란색 교복 입고 있으니까 네. 그 노란색 교복을 입은 뭐 선배나 후배가 와가지고 어, 일어나시라고 아 <웃음> 생각으로는 남이 그래서 아, 감사합니다 이러고 <웃음> 학교 가고 막 That's really sweet. Oh, SOPA students. So SOPA is the okay the abbreviation of the school. So that's why they were called SOPAs. 
That's really sweet, though. Like, random kids just saw the uniform, and they were like, hey, your stop is coming. Like, get up. You're going to miss school. That's really sweet. I feel like I feel like most kids... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like a lot of kids would just be like looking at their phones and just whatever. <laughs> but that's sweet. Oh. Oh. 아이엔 씨는 어떤 감정을 좀 느끼는지 오. 작업 결과물이나 아니면 작업을 하는 와중에 그런 걸 봤을 때 어떤지 저는 사실 그런 게좀 예술성이 있는 사람은 아니거든요. 아니요 예술성. 아, 그가 <웃음> 예. 물론 예술하는 eyebrows. 사람이긴 하지만 엄청 감성적인 사람은 아니란 말이죠. 예. 근데 이렇게 감성적이고 그리고 예술적이기도 하니까 뭔가 되게 부럽기도 하고 음. 되게 신기하기도 하고 나도 가지고 싶다라는 생각을 많이 하긴 했었어요. 어. This sassiness of him shaking his head. So I'm kind of getting the vibe that, because a lot of the stray kid stuff I've I am reacting to right now, or I have already reacted to, I N is still really young, right? Because I'm starting at Skiz Code, like the first episode, and obviously the survival show. He was super young. The music videos I'm at right now, he's still really young. So like his personality was obviously different back then, I guess, but um, he seems really mature and like responsible and grounded and maybe even a little bit of like an old soul like energy because I know he likes trot music and um, was he raised by his grandparents or like super close with his grandparents or something? I feel like I remember something like that. But yeah, he kind of has this more mature vibe. So I feel like that's really interesting because that's not what I would expect at all. Not that being a magne of a group means you have to be like a cute baby all the time. Obviously, humans have different personalities, but uh, yeah, that's interesting. Straightforward. So he's like very direct. Wait, what's the song Ice Cream about? Because that could be... What kind of metaphors are we using in a song called Ice Cream? I feel like that could be... <laughs> Wait, yeah, they do seem like opposite. <laughs> I'm very attracted to Ian. Sir, that's your baby brother. Do y'all need some alone time? Like, am I interrupting here? Yeah. 
그렇게 해서 저는 사진을 찍는 것 같아요. 뭐고 아홉 개의 프레임이 이렇게 있으면 딱 예. 중간에 이 위에 이렇게 딱 맞추는 거예요. 얼굴을 얼굴을 반신샷을 찍을 때는 예. 그냥 딱그 정도인 거고 제 느낌대로 찍는 것 같아요 사진. 음... 근데 되게 자연스러움을 잘 연출한 것 같아요. 그래서 이인이랑 사진 찍으면 재밌어요. 왜냐면 제가 진짜 미쳐 날뛰거든요. 아, 진짜 왜 저래 이러고 싶어. He's a good photographer. 씨가 찍는 사진 스타일은 좀 어떤 것 같아요, 이인 씨? 저는 약간 자연스러움 안에 자연스러움을 추구하는 느낌이었는데 형은 약간 느낌 있게 사진 찍는 것 같아요. 뭔가 프레 후레쉬도 좀 쓰고. 어, 어... 아, 저 완전 엠지. 아, 저도 요 근데. 네? 저도 그 세대예요. 형 형이? 어. 형은 좀 뭘로 되나? 맞아. 나 아니야. <웃음> Is that's going to be a thing them calling Lino and Bang Chan old. You're a millennial. You're a boomer. <laughs> um his smile is so pretty. I ends. So yeah, they are kind of like opposite. Like um I N is straightforward. He's direct. He's kind of like just. I like people like that. That's the type of personality I like. A lot of my biases are kind of like that too. It's kind of reminding me a little bit of like D O and X O, Kyung Su. Kind of reminding me of that energy a little bit with I N. And Hyunjin is more. Expressive, creative, emotional, you know. I N would rather just like take a natural, just a good photo, right? And Hyunjin would Hyunjin sees it more as like a, a creativity thing. Like let's get a cool angle, let's get a lens flare. Maybe we could, you know, use a bokeh effect and like blur out. You know, like he just has a more abstract creative abstract approach and i ends is more like practical that's cool 저도 그 세대예요 형 형이 어 형은 좀 뭘로 되나 맞아 나 아니야 저 아니에요 맞다니까 아, 아 그래 어, 아나 진짜 이 사람 인터뷰 못 해먹겠네 this okay sir 예, 근데 만약에 두 분이서 사진을 찍어주는 목적으로 여행을 간다면 지금 그냥 간단하게 여행 플랜을 짜보면 좀 어떨까요? 와 근데 사진 찍으려는 목적으로? 목적으로 사진 찍으려는 목적으로? 그럼 미친 듯이 사진만 찍을 거뭐 인스타 감성 그런 데 찾아가면 되겠지 뭐 아, 인스타 감성 <웃음> 맛집 이런 데 네, 그렇죠 아너 죄이지? 어. 너 약간 그 계획적이지 사람이 좀 많이 저는 완전 무계획 그냥 근본 없는 여행이거든요 반대되는 사람한테 끌린다니까 Yeah, they're 맞아. very opposite 네. 별로 안 끌리는데. 아, 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 아 이거 참 쉽지 않네 아, 이거. 아, 그만은 아, 아닌 걸로 그냥. See, and in the last episode, Changbin was flirting with everyone, so I think that's probably just his drag kids thing. We're just, you know, <laughs> it's just they're so comfortable with each other, you know. 예, 좋습니다. 뭐두 분이서 한번 여행 한번 사진 가가지고 사진 목적으로 한번 여행 가가지고 많이 한번 인스타에 올려주시기 바랍니다. 아, 근데 너무 좋아요. 아, 저도 좋죠. I think they have a travel show. 두 분의 약간 또 다른. I want to react to. 아또 아, 패션, 패션 좋아하죠. 패션. 이엔이 아. 이엔이가 패션을 정말 패션에 대해 뭔가 되게 빠삭한 oh? 느낌이에요. 음. 완전. That's something they have in common. 인 같은 것도 이엔이가 잘 알고 있고 예. 완전 그 약간 신발 덕후. 아, 신발은 진짜 네. 다 알아요. 다 알아요. 다 저희 집 신발장에. I feel like their fashion style is a little bit different though. I'm sorry, I don't know my internet is. Um, 신발 덕후. 아, 아 맞아, 신발. 맞아. Yeah. I feel like Ian's style is more like classic or modern, but still based on what I've seen so far, his style seems more like a like classic, chic, comfortable, casual. But like, I like his his sweater is very nice. It's kind of preppy, and I feel like from what I've seen of Hyunjin. And it's okay. You can correct me if I'm totally wrong. I'm still like, I'm still learning about the group and the members. So I want you to tell me if I'm getting the wrong vibe or whatever. But like with Hyunjin, I feel like he's a little bit more experimental with his fashion. Like he's a, he plays around with like androgynous clothing and um, more. You know, maybe maybe where maybe he's had some fashion misses. I don't know, but uh, yeah, he's also like the Versace guy though. So like he maybe he likes high end fashion, 
and Ayan is more like chic. I don't know. But they seem like their styles are different. Attacked by shoes. Oh my gosh. Alexander McQueen. Wait, he was a model? Hold on. Yeah. Or he was just there, but dressed up. Oh, wow. I think I've seen that picture. That's nice. I love that the editor put the picture in, because I'm sure some people hadn't seen it. Oh. He has grown. <laughs> he seems chill. Yeah. Oh, He's organized. Does he have a planner? I wonder, because he kind of does give me old-fashioned vibes, but we're also in 2023. So I wonder if he's putting all this stuff into his phone calendar or if he actually has, like, a planner. Because it also wouldn't surprise me if he was, like, physically writing it down with, like, pen and paper into, like, a scheduler. <laughs> Sir, you should go do it. I'm sorry, sir. But it is kind of hard to be spontaneous when everything requires an appointment or a reservation. I'm kind of like a mixture of both of them, but like super anxious. So like with the dermatologist thing, yeah, I have a dermatologist appointment actually on Thursday and it's at nine or nine 30 in the morning. So <laughs> Hyunjun was like, well, what would happen? Like, what if I don't go to bed until 6 a.m.? <laughs> I'm the exact opposite. I will be going to bed at like 10 p.m. And uh, I'll be getting there like 30 minutes. Like I'm chronically 30 minutes early everywhere, uh, which is why I love working from home. I can just, you know, it's not a big deal.
But yeah, I have so much anxiety about that kind of stuff. So I kind of have to plan just because of anxiety. The mini bar. Lunch. <laughs> 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 And they watched Seungmin's Lee Mugen episode together. That's so cute. Did they leave a comment on the video? <laughs> the music wasn't doing well. What does he mean? Like they weren't performing well in the charts or they weren't getting a lot of views? There was a time when our music wasn't doing very well. <laughs> <laughs> See, he says he's not cute, but he is cute. He's just not trying to be cute. Like, look at his laugh. <laughs> 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 That escalated. <laughs> Why are you doing, Lino? <laughs> right, I, like he's already seen it. <laughs> just just send him a picture and just, or you know what just give it just give him tell him to look at one of the albums i'm sure there are some i'm sure there are some hyunjin photo cards or pictures in the albums that he could yeah yeah oh my god oh, oh my god <laughs> the way he just looked at his back. They just called him a Dorito. They said he's Dorito shaped. Sir. <laughs> 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 Listen, abs are so impractical. <laughs> Not that I would know, like, no. But, um, like, it's impressive people who work hard for them and people who maintain them. But at the same time, like, you eat a potato and, like, they're gone. <laughs> so like I don't know just be happy and just eat food I I can appreciate the the muscles and obviously <laughs> those like Bang Chan on Kingdom 
you know, like that that's that's nice to look at and stuff, but I don't know. I just as long as they're happy. And a lot of times people are they're super happy and like confident and comfortable and like proud of their body. I think that's great. But at the same time, if, if someone's like a little bit thicker and like they don't have abs, love it as well. So. 자, 이제 곧 데뷔 7년 차인 어, 저희 스트레이 키즈인데 지금도 예시 볼 레슨을 꾸준히 받고 아유, 현진 씨는 댄스 레슨을 계속 꾸준히 받고 있는데 각자의 본업과 포지션에 Oh, I don't want to bring this up, but like is that a thing? Cuz you always hear about like a 7-year curse or like a 7-year contract. Has Stray Kids signed another contract? Cuz like like I'm still at the beginning of my journey, right? But it seems like the members are all very close. And it seems like they all like being together. I would hope that they would. That's probably not even a question. Of course, they're going to stay together. I've just, have they already signed another contract? But this just came out two weeks ago. So the seven years isn't up yet, I guess. I don't know. I know that's a hard thing to talk about. I wonder what he means. Like something he just didn't prepare for? Like it's they decided to change the melody at the last minute or like it's out of his range that he feels comfortable in? Oh. <laughs> okay, so Hyunjin is very competitive. Yeah, he's a hard worker. <laughs> Hyunjin seems very relatable and very chill. Like, he, he kind of just seems like a normal... I mean, he is a normal guy, obviously. Well, he's not, because, like, normal guys don't look like that and have that kind of talent. But, like, you know... He's like, I'm worried I might just get lazy and maybe I just want to sleep that day and like just not go to voice lesson. <laughs> like it's he's just very relatable. That's what I said, his stage presence. He always stands out on stage. Yeah, 
아. 서로 포함하고 가시죠. 아, 예. 아이고. <웃음> Thank you, Lino. <웃음> 네, 두 사람 모두 원래 B 프로듀싱 멤버였지만 이제는 자기 곡들을 다 가지고 계신데요. 현진 씨의 요즘 공개되는 이제 작업량이 많. Yeah, didn't I n just release a song? I saw like a thumbnail of him like sitting at a table or something with like. some kind of hair. <laughs> no, I don't remember the hair. I think it was like curly or something. And I feel like it was a solo song that was just released. But um, I haven't seen Hyunjin solo. I haven't seen any of their solos, but Oh, uh, so he's like very artsy. Let us hear the demo. Sorry for the question because I don't know what is Skiz Record or Skiz Record. Is that like um like an unofficial release? Like it's not actually released on streaming services or whatever. It's just uploaded to YouTube or SoundCloud. Like a just like a collab together. Is that what it is? So they started something, but they didn't get to finish it. <laughs> Where to go? <laughs> 그래서 이번에 또 하나 만들었었는데 네. 하나 만든 거를 이제 제가 이제 탑라인을 만들어서 멜로디를 다 만들어서 이엔트 노래를 보내고 이엔트 음. 그거에 대한 주제를 좀 생각해서 이제 같이 가사를 쓴 곡이 하나 있는데 네. 마침 딱 그거 만들려고 하니까 갑자기 이런 게 생긴 거예요. 예. <웃음> 가창을 하는 노래 생겨가지고 예. 아직 제목도 없는 그런 미완성된 곡이지만 음. 뭐 이따가 한번. Oh, that's what they're performing. It says untitled. Yeah, later in the show. 짧게나마 소개해 주신다면은. 바로 가창으로 이제 넘어가 보도록 하겠습니다. 일단은 어 살랑살랑이라는 곡은 살랑살랑 4년 전에 만들었던 <웃음> 맞아요, 노래예요. 맞아요. 이제 진짜 작곡 작사를 진짜 전문적으로 해 보자. So I'm going to be spoiled here if this is like if there's a music video of this cuz he's going to perform it. But I mean if it was released 5 or 6 years ago, I would imagine it's going to sound different today. Cuz I'm sure he's just improved overall and just sounds different. 시작한 지뭐한 1년 때쯤에 만든 곡인데 그냥 제가 그때는 뭔가 이렇게 좀 기분이 좋았었나 봐요. 기분이 어. 좋아가지고 달콤하고 음. 좀 이렇게 선선한 느낌의 노래를 Is it a cute song? 좀 귀엽게 만든 oh 노래인데 네. 제가 부르니까 영 영. 영하다고 <웃음> 어. 제 감성이랑 좀안 맞더라고요. 아. 제가 막다 막 만들어 보고 제가 가이드를 만들어서 불러도 보고 해봤지만 네. 뭐그 귀여운 느낌이 안 나는 거예요 제 목소리에서 음. 그래서 이엔이한테 연락을 해가지고 이런 곡을 만들었다 하고 이엔이한테 데모를 보내고 이제 이걸로 녹음을 하자라고 했던 게이 살랑살랑이라는 노래인 거죠 아. 되게 귀여워요 가사도 되게 귀엽고 낙천적인 삶을 사는 주인공 같은 느낌이라 이엔이의 음. 이런 밝은 면이 좀더이 노래랑 잘 어울릴 것 같아서 이엔이 좀 좋은 nice. 노래고요. Yeah, for some reason Hyunjin is giving me the vibe of like maybe his solo music is more like sad boy music, maybe like kind of more somber or just kind of low key chill. Um, but I I don't know. I haven't heard it yet. But just kind of the way he's speaking, um, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. 
Oh my goodness, come on. 기억이 나는 게 그때 당시에 현진이 형이 이 곡은 너만 잘 어울릴 것 같다. 음. 회사에서 회사한테도 들려줬는데 이 곡을 아마 이엔이가 부르게 될 것이다. 현진이 형이 이렇게 말했었대요. 음. 네, 회사에서도 바로 수긍을 하고 너무 잘 어울릴 것 같다 이렇게 음. 얘기했다, 얘기했다고 들었던 것 같아요. 저는 음. 그게 딱 기억이 제일 먼저 났었던 것 같고 살랑살랑이라는 노래는 되게 동화 같은 노래였어요. 음. 음. Fairy tale. 천진난만한 주인공의 그런 약간 동화 같은 이야기 같은. So it was like a bright 맞아요. song. 느낌이었고 네. 그리고 미제곡은 아 제가 정말 좋아하는 스타일의 곡이에요. 음. 되게 인디스러운 맞아요. 오. 아 제가 그런 곡을 정말 정말 좋아하거든요. 그리고 저는 이제 주제가 너무 안 떠오르는 거예요. 예. 곡을 되게 많이 만들고 있는데 너무 막혀가지고 이거를 뭔가 해결해줄 사람이 누가 있을까 해서. 어쨌든 이연이 툭툭 뭔가 이렇게 진심을 yeah, 잘 말하잖아요. 맞아. 그래서 이연이한테 한번 말, 해보자고 말해보자 해서 이연이한테 제가 이제 가이드 부른 거를 데모를 넘겼고 이제 이연이가 그걸로 이제 가사랑 주제 같은 거를 좀 많이 한 곡이고 이거는 사실 아예 주, 사실 두곡다 이연이만 불렀으면 좋겠어서 그런데 음. 어. 아마 살랑살랑은 나중에 나오게 돼도 이연이 목소리로만 나갈 거고 이 미제곡은 아마 다 완성이 되면 저는 그냥 2절에 2절 벌스 정도만 참여해서 He wants Ian to do all of his guide vocals. 네, 여러분들의 이렇게 얘기를 들으니까 저도 너무 궁금해지는데요. 네. Me too, 빨리 sir. 빨리 들어가고 싶어 가지고 네. 안 되겠습니다. 오늘 소감 어땠는지 그리고 MC에 대한 소감도 좀 <웃음> Sir, fishing for compliments. He was he is a great MC. He's very handsome MC. He's um making them hug each other and asking the sweet questions and uh Asking about their bodies. <laughs> I don't know. Lino is sometimes a. I don't know. He's, I love him. He he could be my bias. He's he's at the top of the list for my potential bias still. Um, <laughs> I don't know. All of the gay stays say thank you, Lino, <laughs> because he's always at the scene of the crime. Uh, from from what I've seen so far. So. <laughs> 그리고 MC에 대한 소감도 좀 짧게나마 해주시죠. 되게 솔직 감백하게 오랜만에 토크하는 시간이었던 것 같아요. 사실 저희가 너무 바쁜 그 잡든 탓에 이렇게 솔직 감백하게. Y'all need a break. 그런데 오랜만에 이렇게 토크하니까 너무 너무 재밌었던 것 같아요. 네. <웃음> 투키즈룸이 이렇게 또 발전하니까 기분이 좋고요. 투키즈 쇼예요. 아, 아, 투키즈룸이 발전했다. 이렇게 아, 투키즈 쇼를 아, 발전한 거죠. See that confusing me too, cause I want to. Grab this episode, and I was I ended up on a playlist with like thirty plus episodes of Stray Kids of Two Kids Room, and then I got really confused and kind of panicked, and I was like, "No, this show is called Two Kids Show. Two Kids Room is the old one, I guess, <laughs> which I should watch too." <laughs> but Yeah, it goes by really fast. He definitely does. So yeah, Lino definitely did seem more casual and more comfortable as the MC than Chongbin, but like Chongbin also did a really good job and was really sweet. Uh, I think Lino just has more of that like, you know, MC experience, but uh, yeah, he was like not nervous at all. He was just, you know. But I, they both, they all do good. I don't remember who's, I think Changbin is the MC again for the next episode. The next episode is Bang Chan and Lee No, so that'll be fun. Bye. Oh, ha. All right, I'm excited for these performances. I obviously haven't heard the songs yet, so this will be fun. All right, oh, we're starting off with a whistle. 
Uh, lyrics by Hyunjin, composed by Hyunjin Bush, arranged by Bush. Oh. Stop. This is cute. I love that they're also staying on the couch, too. Because, uh, like, with Han and Seungmin, they got up and they had, like, the little stage area. And I thought that was really cool. But, uh, I don't know. This is really cute just on the couch. Oh, he's having a good day. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. What is salang salang? I'm assuming it's like, like the sound of wind blowing or something. You come, come blowing like a gentle breeze. Salang salang. I think it's like a, a Korean word for like a sound or something. Um. Hey. Hyunjin just sitting there like, okay, it's over. <laughs> Bye. Okay, and then, oh, that guitar. This is untitled by Lyrics I N Hyunjin, composed by Hyunjin, Million Boy, Nico Young. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's like an indie indie pop rock Ooh. <laughs> he sounds really good with these lower notes oh the lyrics <laughs> leave me and meet someone you deserve before the pain gets any okay well first of all they're not they're not gonna find anyone better than you sir but like that's also heartbreaking you Hyunjin wrote this song and Ian wrote this song too like feeling like you're not good enough for the person you're with and you just kind of want them to move on so they can find someone better than you that's heartbreaking <laughs> Oh. He sounds great too. These lyrics are heartbreaking. Normally you would be like, who hurt you? But in this case, like they're kind of, it's self-inflicted. And even in this like breakup, it's like they're running away because they don't feel good enough for this person. 
and I think he said something like, yeah, I'm saying goodbye in this cowardly way. So there's like so much self judgment. You gotta love yourself if you're if you're wanting to uh, be in a a relationship like that. But um, <laughs> these lyrics are so good, though. Yeah. 그댈 만나기 위해 쏟았던 모든 감정은 지속도 다닐 시적인 마음의 사그라들듯 너는 어떤 이유로 나를 왜 사랑했을까 나 같은 건 잊은 다음에 부디 행복하게 너는 눈물도 많았어 예쁜 마음에 항상 비가 내리고 나는 천둥을 줬으니 난 너를 사랑하지 못해 그게 어떤 이유로든 his singing was really pretty. I know he, yeah, it was like the sing rapping, but like that little bit of like gravel in his voice was very pretty. And like the shakiness of his voice, it's like the emotion of the lyrics. I don't know what he's talking about. That was a great vocal performance from both of them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Silly. Oh my god, his dimples. Ian's dimples. I really liked that. I really liked that episode. Especially because like I mean that's the whole that's the whole concept of the show, right? Is the pairs, the two kids, um, and getting to see the different dynamics with with the individual members. Because, like, I'm still at the point where I'm learning all of their personalities and everything. But now I know, you know, with Hyunjin and I in, it's kind of like this big brother, little brother, but like complicated <laughs> friendship. And they go back with all of this history and. I feel like I learned a lot about both of their personalities with I.N. being very, like, pragmatic and, like, adult and responsible and strategic and with Hyunjin being very free-spirited and creative and artistic and spontaneous. Um, I thought that was really good. And Lee No, like... I don't know. He was he was a really good MC. He was a really good MC because same thing with Chongbin. Chongbin was really good too. They're they add enough to the conversation to be like funny or cute or like bring other things out and ask the right questions, but they don't take away any of the spotlight, right? Because this episode is all about Hyunjin and I N. So even though Lee No is incredibly handsome. Right, I didn't find myself like the focus was on Hyunjin and I in, and he did a really good job of like always like bringing it back to them. Um, yeah, I really liked this episode. I think, yeah, I liked this episode more than the first episode, and I liked the first episode a lot. So, um, I think it's going to be like that. Some, some pairs I just learn more about and I find super interesting. I also really loved these songs both of these songs, especially the untitled song. As heartbreaking as it is, I loved it. I loved it. Um, I just want to know, like, <laughs> it might be one of those cases where it's like a fictional thing and they just made it up. They put themselves in that situation just to be emo or whatever. But like, if Hyunjin experienced that, that's heartbreaking. Because those lyrics were all like, about them like i'm sorry i did this you need to get away from me and go find someone you deserve because i'm not good enough for you and so i'm just gonna like run away <laughs> it was like the a very toxic breakup song but usually when it's a toxic breakup song you're talking bad about the other person you know <laughs> that was very deep i feel like we need a therapy session I'm sure they're all doing okay. I think it was just really good songwriting is the point that I'm trying to make. Uh, so I'm going to go. Uh, I'll be back soon with the Bang Chan and Lee No episode. I'm very excited about that. 
because you know I love me some Christopher, I love me some Lino, and I'm squinting, but that's definitely Chongabin in the thumbnail. So he's the MC again. I think that's going to be really cool because I love his energy from that first episode. He's going to tease them, and Lino's going to tease right back. I feel like that episode's kind of going to be a mess, but it's going to be fun. Um, and then I'm also going to react to um, IN's uh, Lee Mugen episode. I'll post it on Patreon first, as always, and then I'll post it on YouTube a couple days later. And then I'm still looking at other Stray Kids stuff to do just for Patreon, because I know they have some Mnet stuff, like the No... The Kingdom Week No Plus, I think it's like the No Easy thing they did. Um, there's like eight episodes of that, I think, the the reality show from Kingdom. So I, I might do that soon, but I'm not I'm not even anywhere close to No Easy in our music video journey. So I don't want that to be spoiled either. So we might hold off until I do No Easy. Um, yeah, I've been looking at Skiz Flicks, the website. I think that's super cool. Uh, like it's one of the best fan made websites, like from a fandom that I've seen. I just love the layout and how interactive it is. And it was all made with card, like the card, like the website thing, like that's super impressive. I didn't know that you could customize it that much. And clearly they spent a ton of time making that website nice. And it's, I love it. So I'm going to find something there, like an Mnet show or something I can't post on YouTube to have like a. Because I, I, a lot of stays have signed up for my Patreon, and I really appreciate it. Um, right now, it's just kind of early access and Kingdom and Skiz Code. Eventually, all that stuff's going to like go on YouTube. But I want some Patreon-exclusive stuff, too. So anyway, I appreciate your support. I hope you enjoyed watching this video with me, and I will be back very soon. See ya.